Can I get a clap from y'all real quick? Clap. Audio? All right. Action. Hey. Hello. Do I have to like look at the camera? Nah, I mean you can. So to someone that does not know who Nick Holiday is, right? What would you tell them? I feel like I would just. I, I don't know. I feel like I would literally just say, "Well, that's me." That doesn't make any sense, bro. Why would I tell them? How would you introduce yourself to someone? Hi, that, I'm Nick. No, like. You're Nick and what do you do like? Oh, I would say hi. My name is Nick Holiday. I run Holiday Brand and I'm also a stylist. Nothing else? Nothing else interesting? No, there's, I mean, there's other stuff. You're not gonna say I have a chain or like. I wouldn't say any of that at first. I think, like, I don't think at first that I would just give a person if I'm introducing myself, like, everything about me. I think I would just be like, hey, I'm Nick Holiday. I run Holiday Brand. Yeah, so can you explain holiday to us? Like, I understand like the whole holiday thing and being only on holidays, but why holiday? Well, like why not doomsday? Like why not call it doomsday? Like why holiday? It all started because I made a shirt that said holiday when I had my brand before holiday. Which was called? Stay broke. Stay broke. Mm -hmm. And why did you make stay broke? Because I was very broke and had no money and I was very set on the mindset of being like oh, I'm gonna make clothes make money but I'm gonna keep a, a broke mentality and then somehow that transitioned into holiday yeah well I mean it transitioned because I was um like I mean you know like you know supreme it's like every Thursday is a drop but like I didn't have my Thursday like it was just like the only way you knew if I was dropping clothes is if I told you like, oh, I'm dropping clothes on this day. But like there wasn't like an organization or like, like, oh, I can assume it's gonna happen these days. So I was like, okay, I need to find that. And then I was like, no one really drops on just holidays. So I'm gonna do that. And how can I make that clear? Like, oh, I'll just name the brand Holiday. I like that. I also, like, I made Holiday because I've always had a weird relationship with holidays, just like as a kid. You used like, to cry on your birthday? Yeah. I used to be a big birthday crier. But I feel like I made Holiday so I can, like, distract myself from, like, any previous thoughts I have of, like, certain days, which is also, like, why the brand exists. It's to bring, like, new emotions and, like, new thoughts to, like, historical days. Like, there's probably a kid out there that, like, looks at Halloween differently than he or she did a couple years ago, if they're a big fan of holiday. Because not only is it a day you get to, like, dress up, eat candy, but it's also a day there's, like, a collection dropping or, like, something of that matter, you know? Okay. What's your favorite thing you've ever made at holiday? Favorite thing I've ever made? Like, peace. I feel like, um... I don't know. I really love like this logo is like my favorite logo, but I didn't even personally design it. You didn't design the logo. HK designed it. Aww. Well, fun fact. HK. Yeah, but. HK Holiday. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about the collection that is coming out at Urban Outfitter Stores? So like the stuff that's coming out at Urban is like, like the hard dyed hoodies, hard dyed tees, which is like one of my favorite things we do, like any tie dye shit. And then new t-shirts, trucker hats. It's like holiday basics, really. Do you have one of the shirts on? Mm -mm. Can I pet that dog? You can still hear me? I don't know. Okay, uh, um, why do you think it is important to be in such a lovable space like Urban Outfitters? I think Urban's important because, like, like I grew up in St. Louis 
and there's like not many streetwear stores there. There's like one I used to work at. And like when you're living in places that don't have many options, like Urban Outfitters is kind of like, can create that bridge for you. So you start learning more about brands and start caring about stuff. Like before you really get into like, oh, I care about like this brand because of that. Or like you start to figure out your own style. And like, I feel like if Holiday can be a part like on that platform and like maybe reach a kid that wouldn't have found it before, that's why it's important. Cause it could, you know, someone could find it. And then there's so much more history and so much more imagery to the brand that just exists in urban. And there's just like so much to dive into, which is exactly what I wanted to do with Holiday going into urban. You gotta fix your chain, buddy. You have to turn that around, let that bad boy shine. Uh -huh. Can we show that? You wanna, can we see that? You gotta see this. I wanna put some light on it, you gotta see the bitch twinkle. That hoe dancing. Dance? That bit dancing, you see it? Global warming. Oh, it's a bit cold too now. I'm gonna play with him. That boy putting that shit on. <laughs> Gots to know. <laughs> yeah. That was all the questions. What you wanna else ask? should I ask? I don't know. Should we play a game? Yeah. We got like we can keep rolling for a moment. What game should we play? Um okay, twenty one question game. Okay. Mm-hmm. What should they teach in school but they don't? Ooh. That's a really good question. The schooling system's fucked. They failed me. I, I failed PE. They failed me in economy class because you had, so in the start of the semester they said, uh, make a business and then present it to the class. What was your business? A brand. And I made a brand and the concept of the brand is exactly the same as Holiday. And the business model was modeled after Supreme. And I had, it's, it's literally everything that Holidays became, like exactly. And I had this whole PDF and presented it and there was like two kids in the class that were like, knew about clothes and they're like, that's cool. And the teacher was like, this would never work. I'm failing you, you like you're wasting your time on this. Damn, that's tough. Is your collection with Urban Outfitters dropping on a holiday? This man don't even fucking know, bro. There's a whole brand called Holiday. The fuck is the point of this interview? <laughs> I don't think it is, actually. Oh but, my God. No, you know what? You'd be surprised how many holidays there are throughout the year. <sighs> There's over 365 holidays throughout the year. So, is there anything else left in the mind of Nick Holiday? Like after holiday? Just in general. Like what you're gonna eat later? Mm. You're mm. gonna watch a movie later? Like, I mean, if you could star in any movie, mm -hmm. what would it be? If I could star in any, any movie? I don't know. I would be in Holes 2. Holes 2? Yeah. It's like, Zero when he got older. I would do holes too with you. I'd go in there. Shout out Shia. Okay, do we like sign off? You're done? I don't know what else to ask. I'm like, I'm not good at this. It's, I don't really know what I else to say. I think you're doing great. What else to say? Can you do something cool for us on the interview? Like, can you like spit a freestyle? Nope. Do a backflip, a cartwheel, like, mm -hmm. My like, gosh, this man will do fucking anything. Mm -mm. Take a photo, like. Just give it up for Nick. That's good. <laughs>